Hello, my name's Gary with HaveFunWithScience.com and as you saw from the preview, today's demonstration is on how to make a vacuum to make a hard-boiled egg get sucked into a bottle. Stay tuned for the procedure and an explanation as to what's going on and what not to do. It is essential to make sure that the bottle is warm, otherwise the experiment won't work. I have footage of my first attempt at this experiment, where my egg got lodged in the neck of the bottle. I will show that later. It is important to remember when dealing with boiling water to use oven mitts. When boiling water and then pouring it into a small necked bottle and then pouring the water out into the sink, hot steam remains in the bottle and forces out some of the air. The egg needs to be quickly put on the opening of the bottle at this point. Now, as the steam in the bottle cools, it transforms into water droplets. Little drops of water require a lot less space than the gas of hot steam does. Since the gas is turning into a liquid, the amount of air pressure in the jar decreases. Now the air pressure outside the jar is greater than it is inside the jar. This results in the outside air pressure pushing the egg inside the jar with a fun splatting sound. Here's some footage from my first attempt at this experiment. It is a late December day and I got the jar out of an unheated garage and the temperature is around 40 degrees Fahrenheit. My mistake was not warming the bottle up enough. And the experiment didn't really come out as planned. Here's one minute into the experiment. Two minutes into the experiment. Four minutes into the experiment. Here's eight minutes into the experiment. As you can see, the egg is partially lodged into the neck of the bottle, and that's about as far as it's going to go. Although when I removed the egg, there was a pop because it was under pressure. So make sure that the bottle is warm so that the experiment works properly.